Now, supporters of Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan are marching on the capital to demand snap elections. They've begun the 380-kilometer walk from Lahore to Islamabad. Kamal Haider is there, and he spoke to Imran Khan. Imran Khan's container is moving at snail pace. But as you can see, tens of thousands of people are coming out to greet him along this route. We have spoken to Imran Khan, who tells us that he expects more than a million people to converge on Islamabad. He says that there is no other option for the ruling government but to hold general elections, and as soon as possible, because the country needs a fresh mandate. And you had said earlier that uh, you expected at least a million people to converge uh, on Islamabad in the grand finale, which is due on Friday the 4th. Uh, what is your feeling now as you've started this march? Uh, from someone who has 26 years of uh, experience, again, starting party from scratch and then building up to the biggest party in Pakistan now. I feel that uh, it will be at least a million people. The, I can predict, of course, success lies in the hands of the Almighty Allah, but I can predict that it will be the biggest ever gathering of people in our history. These are indeed crucial times. The Pakistani Prime Minister said he's ready for talk, but Imran Khan says that that is an empty statement from the Prime Minister. What is there to talk about? free and fair elections. That's been the number one demand. And why is it the number one demand? Because we want the people of Pakistan to elect a government through their vote. We do not want a foreign conspiracy backed a, a bunch of criminals who spend billions of rupees to buy our loyalties of parliamentarians and bring down a government. These, they don't represent people of Pakistan. And it is evident from all the by-elections where they've been wiped out. Uh, it has been evident from the massive crowds. You can just see for yourself today. I mean, these, this, this is just spontaneous. It's a, it's a vote against the government. People are sick of these crooks. 30 years these people have been stealing from this country. There are massive corruption cases on them. 60% of cabinet is on bail, on corruption cases. And they expect us to accept these stooges who, uh, who do not represent the people. All we want is elections. Let the people of Pakistan decide who they, whichever government they want. But we do not accept them. And the problem is that because they realize that, you know, in the by-elections it's evident that they're, they're going to lose badly, they're running away from elections. So the talks will only be, are you willing to hold elections or not? Of course, it is going to be a real test of its popularity to see whether the people will come out in the large numbers. People, of course, that we have been talking to expect a very large turnout. These are historic moments. Imran Khan has been rallying his supporters ever since he was ousted from power in a vote of no confidence. But he has emerged as one of the single largest most popular leader of Pakistan.